Hey, nerdlings! What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for Renfest? Huzzah! All right, so one of our first RenFests every year, because they are nice enough to happen in the spring, early summer, is the Oklahoma Renaissance Festival. Quickly becoming my favorite Renaissance Festival. It's, it's because of that castle, isn't it? Is it is because of the air-conditioned <laughs> castle. It's like Kansas City, Oklahoma, Kansas City, Oklahoma. <laughs> and then it's like, air-conditioned. Okay. <laughs> you know, just... A quick note, we actually got to take our kiddo to this one for the first time, and uh, I think that she enjoyed it too. I, yes. I think she approved of this one. Yes. Now, I will say, uh, there were some issues trying to get there because the Arkansas River had flooded, and oh man, there was just water everywhere. Was, uh, yeah. Of course, a lot of detours, so you know, what would be like a five minute drive turned into like a 30 minute drive to get around all of that. But of course, with that much water everywhere, that's the least of the worries. We didn't get to do the reveal, but yeah, you the always reveal, like the... I do. I love the reveal because the road just goes right in front of the castle. Right. And it's like, there's the Ren Fair. Yeah. You know, so... But, but it still worked out yeah. because when we went into the park itself, we actually went the opposite way of the castle, so we left yeah. that part for last we anyway. We did. Also, we like to leave that part for last because it's air-conditioned, and after you've been <laughs> hot all day, it's very nice to end it with cooling yourself down. <laughs> now, uh, we found some fun spots just real quick. You saw a, was it a headdress place with the feathers? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of times you see, um, like, the, the flower garlands for the hair a lot of the times. This time, I have seen them before, but, I mean, I really paid more attention to them this time. But it was a feather garland, and it was, like, it was just, I mean, it really, like, they stuck out a lot. But it was just a round garland like the flowers, but this time it was feathers all the way around. And so those are kind of neat. You know, it's something a little different than, than the flower or... Or the pointy hat with the thing coming just up. Just goes to show it. you got to keep your eyes yes. peeled for those new boots or boots that may have been there before that and you, you just, just walked by. Didn't pay attention to. So uh, we went down to the Italian portion of the village, which also shares a little room with the pirate port. We had to get our traditional <laughs> frozen princess. We absolutely have to get one of those every time, not just because it's hot, but because it tastes so good. Uh, you know, speaking of the pirates and everything in that area, we did check out the mermaids mm -hmm. again. And, uh, of course, I love how wowed the kids are, the little kids, as they're seeing the mermaids and everything. However, I think what I like more is watching her expression because I'm always waiting for her to just hop that fence and start swimming with the mermaids. Well, they just look, I mean, they look so real and realistic. I mean, for all we know, they are real. We don't know that mermaids <laughs> don't exist. I mean, they're just sitting there in a pool swimming around. I mean, just like 
like they're having a normal conversation, you know, just sitting at a like a coffee shop or something, you know, but it's a pool because they don't have water right there. So they, they're just very realistic and I want to play with mermaids. Now, as we continue to make our rounds through the park, I took the kiddo over to the dragon that is for kids, and I found out the hard way that it's probably best for the kids to go through there, because coming out, bam. Um, I don't know what hurt more my head or, ouch, my pride. <laughs> yeah, see, he had me walk through it a couple of years ago, and I was short enough that nothing happened, so I guess he thought he could walk through it Throw too. Throw it in my face that you're short. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Pretty quickly after that area was your chainmail place. My favorite place. My Minerva chainmail. I love them. I get. I try to get something from them every year, and this year was absolutely no different. Because. Because I got myself a tiny baby little chainmail dragon, on a necklace. Isn't that adorable? That's very. And cute. I have a big version of him that I wear on a pin, and so I mean he is every bit exactly like the the big version. He's just tiny and quite frankly i don't know how they did it because i mean that is just little but he is so cute and he just kind of hangs out there and i have named him Gigi because they live in Mus or he came from muskogee so it just kind of rhymed so i just thought he was adorable i love him and as you see from this picture right here uh he had the perfect resting spot and I was this close to making that the thumbnail picture, but you guys would have thought it was clickbait. All right, so around this time, it was time to get something to munch on, and we didn't go for a full meal, but we did grab the lamb on a stick. Which is also becoming a tradition. We've, it really is. We've got it two out of the three years that we've been there. The, one, the other year, we decided to try the pork on a stick, and nothing against pork. I love pork. But it's just, just not it, lamb. It didn't quite live no. up to the lamb. So yeah. I think we now know we must always get lamb on a stick. <laughs> now, when we bought that, actually, uh, something fun that Oklahoma does oh my gosh, is yes. you can trade your money in for coins to use at the vendors. Yes. Which just really helps sink you into that moment. Mm -hmm. And we discovered that they normally do $1 Which coins. Which we have shown off in previous videos that they've done the $1 coins, and that's kind of what we thought they only ever did. Right. Because we've never seen any other coin. But we learned that's not the case. Now did we? Oh, oh, a big old fiver right there. And something that's really cool, so when you look on the front, you see Margaret Tudor. And these are not just like a kind of crappy little coin. I mean, these are stamped. There's some heft to them. There's some depth to them. And on the back, they have a Scottish thistle. And then as you can see, these are not just any typical coin that they pick up. They actually make them for the Renaissance Festival, uh -huh. Muskogee, Oklahoma. And it does have the five pound mark on it too. And this thing feels like five pounds. Ah, my foot. Continuing on, we did come to the dragon shop that was kind of the big draw for you to come back. Yes, that's uh, one of my favorite shops to go visit there. I always love to look at the dragons. And this year I was looking to purchase a red dragon to kind of go along with my little um, avatars red dragon. But none of them spoke to me this year. So um, I decided I will wait until one actually speaks to me. So Now, by this point, we were also getting pretty warm. However, the way that we do the park, this also makes it the perfect time to get one of the 
frozen bananas dipped in chocolate. Yes. And this is a perfect treat because it gets, when you're overheated, it's frozen. So it does help cool your core down. But then it also gives you kind of some potassium and some sugars to kind of Thank revitalize you. you a little bit. And it's it's just really good. Also, a quick <laughs> note while we were enjoying that, there were a couple of people right there who snapped their heads around and they're like, whoa, where'd you get that? We told them and I'm pretty sure we sold at least two or three. We did, yeah. So, you're welcome. <laughs> Okay, so now we were able to move through the castle grounds. We hit up a couple of the vendors there, just looking around. Mm -hmm. We passed another dragon booth. You had your eye on something, but you didn't buy it just I yet. I didn't. I wanted to make sure that, you know, I looked at everything. I wanted to think about it. I have purchased from this dragon booth before as well, and I always like them. But, uh, you know, I found a dra they had new dragons. When I first bought my dragon, they only had one style. And this time they had lots of different styles and ages, I guess. They called them like babies and youth and adult and then zombie. <laughs> uh, like you said, I did wait and think about him, but then I came back and I had to buy him because he was just really, really speaking to me, if you will. But I got this really cute guy. And like I said, it's, it's like the other one that I bought, except this one has a more of a traditional dragon looking face versus my other one who has more of the um, how to train your dragon like night fury face he's got the the typical armor on him and he does glow in the dark but I really liked the the red white and blue of him and you know I do like the fact that they are a very good sturdy rubber because I've had him for like three or four years now and I take him to every single Ren fair mm -hmm. and he has he's gotten dirty but I give him a bath occasionally. But that's about it. I have never been able to rip this rubber. It's really good rubber. It's really good bendy quality. You know, you can bend him and he can sit on your shoulder. Sometimes a lot of people like to, to bend him and put him like around their wrist. Rest on your wrist there. One thing that the lady mentioned while I was looking at my dragons, because I was mentioning that there's quite a few other dragons I liked, and then he was like, shh, don't say anything. But somebody said that they bought a staff and then just started rapping and like had like five or six dragons on a staff and I was like, ooh. That's a pretty clever I idea. I like that idea. So I was like, ooh, if I get a staff then they can all just kind of hang out on the staff. <laughs> and this little guy, I named him Amerigus because he's red, white, and blue. We were in the castle, we were cooling off in the air conditioning, uh, just kind of a pro Renfest tip that is a great place to go use the bathroom if you need to because it is a real bathroom, yes. not a porta potty or and anything like very, that. And they are very, very clean privies. So just keep that in mind. And while we were in there, I was actually checking out a booth called Honey, was it Honey House? and i love me some honey they had all kinds of flavored honeys like peanut butter uh they had some awesome honey that was like or uh, pecans that was soaking in the honey oh yeah and they also had honey candy candies. look at all those wrapped candies you must be rich <laughs> wrapped candies <laughs> so <laughs> essentially all of these candies are just made of honey and mm -hmm. uh, they do some things to flavor it like here's a pecan one uh there's an almond one there's even like a mint one there's a coconut one there was a strawberry lemonade one so you could buy an already made grab bag or you could make your own with so many pieces and right next to the booth uh with all of the honey stuff 
she would not leave this alone, so she actually got something just for He's, me. He needed his own little familiar. And I don't know, there was just something about the rats that they were just so cute. This was from a place called Highland Rat. And he makes rat teddy bears, rat on a stick. He made rat pouches and rats wearable rats. And um, he does have a pin in him. And he just, he just sits up there so cute and he just looks adorable. And there was something about the cow pattern that I just... I just fell in love with, and so... And since he's a cow pattern and a rat mouse, I'm just gonna probably call him Cows. Which is adorable, because it sounds very old world. So, yeah. Now I got my own little plague rat. Yeah. They're <laughs> adorable. I love them. We exited the castle. We stopped over by the little open-air tavern uh -huh. for a little bit. Filled up some, the drinking horn. Yeah, filled the drinking horn up with some Killians. Sent a couple of polos to some of our uh, YouTube buddies to let them know that we were having a good time. And we hope that they were to whatever they were doing. We watched the uh, busty women dancing on the tabletops <laughs> to the music that was being played at the time. And then we moved on to one of my other traditions that I do at every single Ren Fair I go to. I always make sure to buy one wooden rose to represent that fair because mm -hmm. I'm really, you know, I'm looking forward to the day that my vase is just overflowing with wooden roses because I've gone to so many Ren Fairs. And this year I picked up an orange rose. I do try to take a picture every time we go and make sure I don't repeat a color but it's getting to the point where there's not very many colors left so I am <laughs> kind of going to have kind to. of have to repeat in addition to this rose they had leather roses and so I was like I know I always do the wooden rose but occasionally I do like to do an, a different kind of rose and so I just thought this was really pretty it was just a really pretty uh, gold and purple leather rose and it was just really neat I had to add to the collection will you accept this rose Find out after this commercial break. I'm just kidding. She does. Oh, I don't even get the choice. You're just going to assume I'm going to take the rose. <laughs> nice. <laughs> of course I will accept the rose. All right, and that was our trip to Oklahoma. We had made the full round. Uh, of course, at one point we had the kiddo, you know, run off. We did want her to stick with us at mm -hmm. first because I wanted to see her reaction to everything, but uh, gave her some free time to go explore it on her own, and I think that she really enjoyed that. You've been serenaded by William Shakespeare. Oh, no. I don't know if the line or the you can chase her down. What's her name? Kaylee. And then, yeah, it was time to leave the park. They do that wonderful uh, cast members getting together and singing you off. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's also I, I feel like that's the only fair we've been to that does that. So far, And yes. I love that. It's sad but awesome because it really does make you feel important and included and special because they're sending you off, so it almost does feel kind of like your royalty.
like I said, this is just the start of the Ren Fair season, so expect some more videos, although most of them I think are going to be a little later, probably closer fall, to the yeah. fall, because uh, now we've got that lull when uh, all the Ren Fairs are sleeping. Uh -huh. It's kind of funny, Ren Fair season is spring and fall. <laughs> so be sure to drop a like if you happen to like the video and leave some comments what you thought of what you saw of the fair in the video or what you think of any of our pickups whether it's plague rats or roses or dragons or honey candy or uh, just the fact that they have their own money there and be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss those other Rin fair videos when they do come out don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so that you can see what we're doing out and about in the real world to know that a video is dropped on YouTube because sometimes they just don't tell you. And go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise and we'd love to see you in our merchandise, nerdlings. And I'm very curious to see how you're going to say this. But remember, nerdlings, if we like it... We nerd it. Oh, you killed the rat. Rats. <laughs> Or you could make your own with right. like so many pieces. I think it was only. Dead, come on. So yeah, you could buy a. Uh... So essentially, I don't even know where I'm at now. Honey, I bought honey candies. So, we're using that close-up picture. Yeah, we can use it. Should that be the thumbnail picture? <laughs> Not the thumbnail picture. Jeez. <laughs> well. Here, let me make a comment anyway, so so I can use that picture. You said so, right? I said so. Okay. <laughs>